Welcome back everyone, Twish is here, and I am back in again for yet another Super Nintendo Palooza video. We're going to be checking out a ton of new JX-specific World of Super Mario World Nintendo offerings that have started to hit store shelves in the last couple weeks, so this should be a blast. It's a nice catch-up video as well. We have a couple new 2.5-inch characters, of which, for me, I got Wario months ago, but kind of forgot to open him up. So there you go. We're going to be adding Wario to this list. You can read up on old Wario and his love of coins if you'd like. Here's the barcode in case you are still looking for him. Next up, we have Fire Luigi. Now, when I saw this, I initially thought, that's new. I don't think it's new. I just don't know if I have it. And that's, again, something I've talked about with Jack specific figures many a time. Put a little star, put a little new on the packaging for those of us that have been in this for quite some time. But the official new, new one that is starting to hit Target store shelves now is the Flying Squirrel Mario. So again, it's always nice to get some new 2.5 inch figures and it's always nice to kind of just find it right off the bat. Speaking of 2.5 inch, we have the new King Boo box set featuring King Boo and Little Boo and Little Luigi. This one kind of sort of in a tie-in to Luigi's Mansion, but very loosely, we'll say. Although I would love if they actually did something, something more with Luigi's Mansion. Fingers crossed that's coming up. But if you want this, Targets is the place to be, as is the Super Mario 3D World diorama set so this one is again from bowser's fury a video game from about two years ago now or so so you got cat peach cat mario and a bunch of add-ons for all the different level play sets now if you haven't seen my world's largest collection of 2.5 inch play sets and figures you can definitely check that out but yes any of these will do if you want to add some parts and pieces with this diorama set and speaking of which, I absolutely love their level set. So this is the course complete play set. It's a little bit of old, a little bit of new kind of thrown in together, but those stairs are absolutely Mario. You can read up on the course complete play set if you'd like, along with all the other play sets that have come out in recent, we'll say months, weeks, years. And here's the barcode. It's starting to hit Target store shelves. Now, this is is very interesting. These were actually given to me by Jack Specific for the purposes of this video. We have an updated Link, which this time he comes with the Master Sword and the Hylian Shield, and it looks amazing. I'm very excited for this one. I'm not a huge fan of Breath of the Wild and the sequels and that sort of Zelda style. There is a Zelda figure, just FYI, and here's the barcode. These are well, on their way to hitting Walmarts a lot more, we'll just say. They're kind of trickling in, as is this new Samus. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I have this Samus. Well, this is the Phazon suit Samus from the new Samus that came out recently, so it's kind of a repaint for her Phazon suits. So, you might have this from years back, but you don't have it in the new articulation. That's basically what it is. But we'll take a deep dive look into all these, and like I said... These are starting to loosely hit Walmarts now. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe plug in a player two if you so desire. This is a look at some of the brand new World of Super Mario slash World of Nintendo offerings from Jack Specific. And real quick, again, I want to say a quick thank you to my friends over at Jack Specific. They sent over these new Walmart exclusive. You got Zelda, Link, and the Phazon suit Samus. Now, Zelda is just another repack, reissue. It's the same exact figure that has been in stores. So if you missed her, here's your second chance. But yes, Samus and Link are the two new ones of which... I'm very stoked. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan. I'm more the N64, SNES, NES, Zelda titles. That's my favorites of the bunch, especially N64. This does do the trick of getting me to kind of want these a little bit more because of the shield and the sword, but 
We'll talk about more on that in just a few because we'll kick things off with, of course, the Phazon suit Samus. She does come with a little morph ball once again. It's great. It's all black. It's got a little orange paint to it. Jack specific. You know what I'm going to say. Let's get some more powers, more abilities, something else other than just the ball. This Phazon suit Samus is not bad at all. It's pretty cool. I know a lot of people weren't stoked the first time around with her articulation. For me, for a $10, I think $11 figure, it's totally cool. It comes with an accessory. I dig it. You pose her on the shelf and you're done. And I like that you can get her blaster going all the way up like she just took down a bunch of space pirates or Ridley, whatever. Ooh, a Ridley. Now that would be a sexy figure to release Jack specific, but you could clearly see the articulation is not going to be for everyone. But again, it's a $11 figure. I'm not going to complain. It's got plenty of articulation for this style plus an accessory plus the paints. It totally rocks for what it is. Plus, on top of all of that, it's a figure for the game Metroid and all the other newer games for Metroid. Enjoy the figures. I even like they put the treads on the bottom of the feet. And in comparison to the Samus that was released roughly about a year ago now, same exact figure, same exact articulation, nothing different there. It's just the paint job, which works in accordance with her changing suits from normal suit Samus to now the Phazon suit. But I gotta say, this link is the highlight for me. That shield is perfection. Look at the back, look at the silver, the straps of which he holds the shield, the Triforce, everything about this rocks. You did an amazing job, Jack Specific. Well done. I like everything that you got going on here. It's a heavy shield as well. Now, not only did you find the Hylian shield, but you also got the Master Sword going, and that is awesome. They rocked these accessories, and I'm going to be honest with you. The accessories is definitely what makes this figure for me. Link, fine. Here he is. I prefer green tuniced Link, red tuniced Link, blue, the N64 versions, of which I'm really hoping they reissue those sooner than later. But yeah, they didn't fix that little twisty waist kind of thing. And yes, I know, they build things in for kids. These are for children, don't forget that. But us adults are definitely enjoying these. These are the toys we've always wanted as children playing all those old video games. The articulation is fine for what it is. I just wish they would have switched the waist when you got them all going with all the accessories. Beautiful, fantastic, totally stoked. That's Link from a very specific video game of which I'm totally not a fan, but a figure, a toy, can totally change my perception and just enjoy it for what it is. That's a very cool Link. And when you have him along with Samus, no, I'm not going to say that the scale is there, so let's just leave that be. But for cool Nintendo action figures, thumbs up, Jack Specific. Next up, we're going from World of Nintendo to World of Super Mario. And I got to say, the Wario himself is pretty darn cool. Now, for those of you that remember Six Golden Coins, that was the debut of Wario. He's got the W's on his gloves. He's got on the hat. He's It just, it's paint perfection, plastic perfection. They even painted the bottom of his feet. He's got enough articulation for a 2.5 inch character. He's got his wild mustache, his wrist swivel, the arms, they go up and down, his feet. Hey, that's not a bad looking Wario by any means. The head will kind of sort of twist, but his jawline, his chin is way too large to get over those shoulders. Luigi, like I said, if I have him, I have him, but I'm just gonna throw him in this video as is. He is the original articulated Luigi, so he's not the updated articulation Luigi. You got the head, you got the arms, you got the wrists, the green, the white, everything's pretty solid as far as the paint. So if you need him, blast off and go get him. Now, this one I would say is probably the highlight. This is the one that everyone's going to be after. Impressively, he does come with a flight stand. And I like that it's segmented, it's articulated. It does a fairly good job of keeping this suited Mario into the air. The funny thing is, is that back in the past, they'd always kind of hook it right there in his junk. That would be where the stand goes. I'm glad you're not doing that no more. Jack specific, much like Wario, much like Luigi, he's painted beautifully. Minimal articulation, of course. The gloves will swivel. You kind of sort of be able to turn the head, kind of, sort of. 
But it is what it is. This is more, hey, he's taken to the air. You've got a flight stand to keep him in the air. That's really all you need. And for the 2.5 inch characters, they absolutely nailed it. But you take the flight stand and you can actually kind of hook it underneath if you want just a straight up and down kind of version. Now keep in mind, it's gonna be very top heavy no matter what you do. So you kind of have to figure it out. But once you get the hang of it, you can get him a flying A-okay. Next up, we have the Bowser's Fury diorama set featuring the cat Mario, the cat Peach, and of course, the little cat bell power up with some added pieces to add to your diorama. This cat Mario, I, it's like one impressive figure after another for the 2.5 inch line. I love all the articulation you have. I like that the fact of he's the standing cat Mario, of which I definitely have the sitting cat Mario, along with uh, Luigi and Toad, and it's just fun. They've even gone the whole nine yards and given him the little orange paint on the back and on the face, and the tail helps him stand. When you have the cat suit Peach, it's gonna be the same dealio, same articulation, the head, the arms, the paint. Everything is stellar. There's really not much to ever have grievance with with Jack specific outside of maybe a lot of people like to say, oh, I can't ever find what I want. For me and Jack specific, as long as you just at the store, maybe weeks later, you'll find what you're looking for. The bell is nothing special. We've seen this a dozen and a half times. The paint is fine for what it is. He's got his little beady eyes. You got the different golds and yellows paint. Now, what is nice straight from the video game is that you have the clear plastic warp pipe. And that is a nice new addition because you could take Mario and have him going through it. A Mario that's traveling through the warp pipe would be cool, but I love the fact that they actually flattened one side. And I've said that before. I've said, you know, they need to start doing that. And they did it. And that's what I love to see. You also get these blocks of which they're as bad as the fixing stickers as I am, at least on this one. It could have been a little bit better, but you got the yellow combined with the blue block. It's completely flat on the top. You can, of course, put this on any of the various levels if you so choose. So it's just, again, something to add to your various levels. And when you get it all displayed and ready to go, sure, it's a nice addition. It's not something fantastic, but it definitely works. One of the main highlights of this entire video, though, goes to the King Boo set. Mainly to just King Boo, though, because I've been wanting one of those, and I think that they really nailed it, if I'm being honest. Now, this little guy is just a regular Boo, and he is a glow-in-the-dark Boo, of which I don't have one of the glow-in-the-darks from the previous set releases that they've done in the past. He's got his little arms, they move around, the face... Everything is great. It's a boo. It totally works. He's got the little flat spot on his belly so you can get him standing. It's perfection. There you go. You have the glow in the dark mini boo. Now, you get Luigi. Luigi is that updated articulation. Cool. I'm glad they threw him in the box. A Poltergust 3000 would have been awesome to attach to this guy somehow, some way. That would have been even better. It's just the same old release. But like I said, King Boo <laughs> is the boo to have. I love it. The face, the tongue, the teeth. He's got the crown. It's just, Jax, you're, you're nailing this. This is, this is a lot of fun. Part of my crown got a little warped. There's a little plastic piece when you pull him out of the box that tries to keep everything nice and neat. Kind of warped it a little bit, so I'll heat it up. He's got his little Slimer tail on the back, and he's like a big old softball of a figure. It's nice. You got the treads everything around to make this guy work. And what you do is you roll him on the ground and his tongue and his arms move up and down and tongue comes out. And that is just a lot of fun. You could just hear him kind of following Luigi through the corridors and taunting him. And that's awesome. Definitely love that. The little roller definitely works great. So again, King Boo out of the entire set is definitely the highlights. Now, for those of you wondering, yes, he will go very nicely with the 2.5 inch collection as a bigger 2.5 inch scaled figure. So that's nice, that totally works. For those of you that collect the four slash five inch line, he will still work. He's still a bigger King Boo. He's not gonna be the giant sort of style that you'll get with the 2.5 inch, as does the Mini Boo. Sometimes it works out where the smaller 2.5 inch figures work really well with the larger scale Mario figures. So if you need them for the collection, they will look rad. Now, for those of you who have been patient, 
These are glow in the dark, so we'll turn the lights off and look, see. So it's not the usual green glow in the dark. It's more of a blue glow in the dark, of which the mini boo only glows on one side of his body. Not the front side, but the back side, which is actually kind of funny. I wonder why they did that. Still looks good, though. I'm totally happy with that because King Boo glows all over. And that's really nice. So I did set these guys in the sun for 20 minutes. I'm not even joking you. Even in a little, a little bit of sunlight, these things glow like gangbusters. So definitely grab them if you need them. Now, the big Mamma Jamma itself, you have the final course level playset. And when they announced this, this was one where I was like, ooh, definitely after that one. I got to kind of play with it at the recent sweet, sweet event in New York City. So I knew what I was getting and I knew then what I know is now. It's pretty darn cool. If you are a fan of the 2.5 inch play sets, of course. Now you do get Mario, much like Luigi with the boost set. It's going to be the same exact newer articulation Mario. So there's nothing crazy there. But again, to throw in a Mario with a playset, that's always a good idea, especially for the kiddos. You do get this plastic piece that will help Mario in ascending the stairs. You simply take your Mario and you clip him into that piece with his shoes and it stays A-OK. -okay. And there's no pegs, which is nice, so there's nothing going to be breaking. Right here on the playset, you can see the stairs, the old school brickwork. That totally takes me back. That's what I want to see. I would have killed to have toys like this. When I was a kid, you got the flagpole, of which you can use it with any other play set. That'll go up and down. The flag says Mario, or you flip it, and it says Bowser. So that's always cool to have. And then, of course, you have the end castle where Mario can go in. On the back side, there is definitely not much going on, if anything, except for this turnstile here. And that's what's going to activate the stairs to get Mario a going. So it's very simplistic. You're going to take your Mario. You're going to put him at the base of the stairs as such. And we're going to get him going all the way to the flagpole and what's cool is that it's it's very simplistic but it's it's fun in terms of bringing this sort of action to life so you just simply crank the turnstile and mario is going to go all the way up the stairs like he's jumping and having fun you're bringing the video games to life and one thing i will say though is that what would have been cool or something back in the day would have been some sort of magnets where you could fling Mario at the top and he would do the whole drop down the flagpole thing. Because as of right now, without any of that, when you go to move him any further, he's just going to crash and burn. So that would have been something cool just to kind of have magnets and yada yada. And then, of course, he travels into the end castle to where we all know that Princess Peach is in another castle. Now, for those wondering, it does work with Luigi. Actually, I will say the newer articulated Luigi will be your best bet so you can move the legs. And just like Mario, you can get him ascending the stairs. The one funny thing is that Luigi doesn't fit, so you're going to have to toss him into the castle. And I know some of you out there are going to go, what about Wario? Does he work? Well, I can honestly tell you, no. Wario does not work unfortunately but what does work and what is so much fun as i'll say time and time again is that if you've collected all these 2.5 inch characters and you've collected all the different play sets and you want to go from the flying squirrel to the cat suit and ascend the stairs and get luigi and do all the fun stuff from the video games yes jack specific is definitely where it's at for all your nintendo needs i love what they do i love that they just have a few new releases every so often. It's a blast. I'm really looking forward to the few new releases coming this holiday season. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new World of Nintendo slash World of Super Mario offerings by Jack Specific. No, as of this video, I have not been able to find the larger 4-inch slash 5-inch pom-pom figure. She's starting to hit GameStops. Just had no luck as of yet, but rest assured when I do find her. We'll get her going in a new upcoming Mario video. I love what Jax does. I like how they just have a few new releases every so often. And when you do, you go in the store, you find it, you go home happy. It's always a fun time. Again, these are the toys I've always wanted as a kid. So you're doing something special, Jax. Keep it up. So you've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything world of Nintendo and Mario and everything else that has to go with it. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep bringing them on. Let's see what you got for this holiday season. When you do, 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.